Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just heard my friend and colleague from West Virginia say there was no reason to vote today. There's a lot of reasons to vote today, Mr. President. It's a country affected by disease, people waking up anxious, scared, afraid of the disease and the economic consequences that are there. There are a lot of reasons to vote today. And every member of this Senate needs to stand up and be counted. And for the senator from West Virginia to say, I wouldn't be for this, I don't know where that's coming from. Well, just read the papers that are coming out of the Democrat House. Just read the papers of the demands by the Democrats to muck up a bill that is designed as a rescue operation for the American people. That's where the problem is, Mr. President. We need to vote today, again and again and again, until we provide the relief, the rescue that the American people need. That's why we have a dozen Republicans on this side ready to speak, standing at podiums, ready to speak. And you don't right now have even a single Democrat on the floor to defend their position because it is indefensible. That's where we are. We had Nancy Pelosi flying back from California because she sent the House home a week ago. They're not here. To defeat the work that we've done in a bipartisan way and to say, oh, you've done nice work. Now look at our list of laund our laundry list of things that we are demanding. Tax credits for solar panels, wind turbines, a bailout of the Postal Service. I mean, you can go through this list. Portions of the Green New Deal. Mr. President, I'm a doctor. I've been on the phone with doctors around the country, with my colleagues at the Wyoming Medical Center. They are working double time through the weekend, day and night. The nurses, the doctors, the health care providers, they need help. They're looking to us for help. They need tests. They need masks. They need respirators. They need hope. Hope that there will be a vaccine. Hope that there will be a treatment. Those things are in this bill that the Democrats voted to block last night and the Democrats voted to block again today.